Hey there, uh, my name is Jackson and I, I wanted to share with you guys just a quick uh, community devotional. Um, today, just felt guided towards uh, Luke 11, uh, which says, When the crowds were increasing, he began to say, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks for a sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of Jonah. For as Jonah became a sign to the people of Nineveh, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. The Queen of the South will rise up at the judgment um, with the men of this generation and condemn them. For she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And behold, something greater than Solomon is here. The men of Nineveh will rise up at the judgment uh, with this generation and condemn it. For they repent uh, at the preaching of Jonah. And behold, something greater than Jonah is here. And something that I think is really beautiful about this passage is that uh, it's Jesus providing clarity to something that was talked about before him. Um, like Jonah obviously came and he was in the Old Testament. Um, and I think it's a beautiful thing that Jesus is looking back into the into the Bible and saying, this is about me. Um, which I'd say is like the invitation of Jesus whenever we read scripture, um, is to say, Jesus, where are you? Um, whether it's the Old Testament um, or if it's in the New. Um, it's all about Jesus. Um, and I found that that's actually like been a really cool place uh, reading the Bible for me. Um, I think uh, there was a time whenever I got burnt out on just like looking for like a good moral lesson, which is like always valued, valuable and like there's always something to do whenever we read scripture. Um, but I actually felt like there was like um, like a year ago, like invited me to say first and foremost, Jackson, like where am I? Um, and I feel like maybe that invitation might be for you guys too. Um, and that whenever we read the Bible, wherever we're looking, is to say, Jesus, what are you doing? What is, how does this talk about you? How does, how does this reveal um, or build anticipation, uh, man, for the Messiah, uh, which is Jesus Christ? And so um, I'd encourage you, um, man, as you read your Bible today or uh, maybe sometime this week, um, ask Jesus, where are you? What are you doing? Um, and I think that he wants to reveal something cool about himself as we ask that question.